Now I will present to you the results of a research of a publication that was uh, published in 2015 in, in the Netherlands. It's about the experience of the rheumatologist there with spacing out the doses of Embril and Humira in rheumatoid arthritis patients. The, the name of this publication was Disease Activity Guided Dose Reduction and Withdrawal of Adalimumab or Etanrecept, this is Humira and Embril, compared with usual care in rheumatoid arthritis, open-label, randomized, controlled, non-inferiority trial. It was published in the BMJ and those, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the year of the publication, it's on the screen here. What they did is that uh, they included 180 patients with rheumatoid arthritis who have entered into a state of low disease activity in this study. 121 patients, they started to space out the doses and in 59 patients, they kept them on the uh, usual uh, plan of care without any spacing out. Every three months, they escalated the distance between the uh, doses of either Embryo or Humira. And those are the results. Reducing the dose of the two medications was possible and it was not inferior in efficacy to the usual care of every week and every two weeks in Embryo and Humira respectively. In the patients receiving, uh, the, in the 120 patients where we were increasing the distance between the doses, it was possible to stop the medication completely in 20% of the patients and with follow-up over the month, they, they stayed in remission or in low disease activity. And in 43% in of the patients, which is almost half of the patients, we managed to increase the uh, distance or the duration between the doses, but we could not stop. But we managed to reach a compromise of increasing the uh, duration between the doses. And in 37% of the patients, we could not. Whenever we go to we try to do this, the patient flares. So, so probably this was more, a, a more of a severe type of rheumatoid arthritis that you cannot apply that strategy to. The conclusion of this video, if you are on biological treatment and you you, if you have rheumatoid arthritis and you are on biological treatment, is it possible that you stop medication or not? Theoretically, yes, it is very possible. Practically, we will know as we follow you up, as your doctor follows you up, both you and your doctor will discover. If there is a good timing for decreasing the doses or increasing the duration between the doses, the doctor will tell you, your doctor will tell you. And if there is a good timing for stopping the medication, the doctor will do this. But it's in all cases, it is very important that everything should be done through your doctor so that you have a better outcome in the end. Thank you so much.